basically because we're chilling in a parking lot <laughs> at the climbing gym I feel like that's a super van life spot yeah. it's a super acceptable parking lot to choose I think there's usually a, at least one van chilling in this parking that's lot why there's never any place to park here <laughs> seeing what they have in stock there's a couple sprinter places in San Diego this place called print sprinter pit stop they do repairs and they get a lot of you stuff, so. Cool. Sounds good. I'm so excited. Afghanistan. Is that you? I don't know. That's so expensive. Yeah. This bartering is so stressful. Ugh. Yeah. I hate bartering. I'm gonna go do some test driving, maybe. Hoping for good vibes and good deals. Yeah. Deals, deals, deals. I like that this is like the place to come when it gets broken too. Yeah, exactly. It gives you warranty. Yeah, that's nice. 45 days, I mean, it's when you're going to have any problems. Mm -hmm. I want to ride in it. So if you crash it, I get insurance money, no problem. <laughs> First test drive of the van quest. Got a lot of space up here. Right. When you get in it, it actually seems like a lot more space when you see pictures on Instagram. Right. I think it's definitely enough space. It's bigger than a tent. It's bigger than a Prius trunk. What do you think? You know, I like it, obviously. <laughs> well, I need to look at more. the money. 
money if we were registering it in Arizona. So then we had to take go back to the bank and or to the, at the dealership we had them switch the name and then switch it to uh, registered in California. And then we uh, raised the price by nineteen hundred dollars. And then we were like, oh no, do we have enough money? And then in our bank account we had one dollar and twenty cents extra after that we're like all right this must be a good sign so we said sure this is fine it's gonna be more expensive to register here than arizona but whatever so then we have to take those that paperwork back to the bank for their final approval and then we get back to the bank for their final approval and they're like what kind of a mercedes is this and we're like a sprinter van and they said well we don't finance cargo vans there's no spot on the forum to click we're like what do you mean because we've been here three times and nobody's said anything so they said no you cannot have that van so now we're driving back to arizona vanless and our poor afghanistan is still Afghanistan is ours. How did that happen? It just decided it wanted to come home with us. So we think it's gonna let we're gonna let it. Okay. Yeah, basically we got super lucky. The universe has given us our Afghanistan. We just had to apply for different loans. And on the same day that I decided to go to LA for a yoga conference we got approved for a loan so tonight I'm going to LA and on Sunday I'm going to San Diego and picking up Afghanistan yeah woo yeah it worked out perfectly it was still available same price same uh, van Carrie's just got to drive it all back by herself it's gonna be an adventure I'm not used to driving that far <laughs> by myself but <laughs> Hey guys, so I'm in San Diego. I took the Amtrak down from LA last night and stayed with some friends. And now I'm drinking some coffee so I can get caffeinated for my long day of driving our van back home to Arizona. So I'm gonna go meet Tim from Sprinter Pit Stop and pick up the van in a few minutes. I just signed all the papers and I'm in the van. We're gonna drive home to Arizona. We did it! It's ours! Hooray! Now to drive for like eight hours home in this big van. Ah, I can do it though. So I made it to Barstow, made it to my first fuel stop. Um, the van drives great. I love it. I can totally do this whole drive on my own. It's gonna be fine. It's like I'm so high up I can see everything. Um, I'm definitely not used to filling up a tank for $88, so we're gonna have to get used to those fuel prices again after being spoiled with our little Prius, but I mean, it's gonna be fine. 
going to be worth it because it's a home on wheels. Or it's going to be. Yeah. So this is our new 2010 Mercedes Sprinter van. Let's new to us. <laughs> Not new in general. This is it. This is a 144 inch base. We got the high roof. Yeah. We stand up inside. You can stand up by a lot because you're short. Yep. And then they pre-installed with this door, which is good because we're going to do that anyways. And the floor is already in there, which is also nice. What's the floor made out of? Uh, floor, I don't remember. Plywood or something. Ooh, there's already a light. There's already lots of lights. Let's look at these shelves. They have these shelves I got to take out. So those Craigslist. Um, yeah, and insulate. Insulating is important if we're going to use it anytime soon because as you see it is winter. <laughs> see. It's like a truck. Truck driver. It's very spacious up here. It is spacious up here. Am I going to be able to sleep Can here? you lie down there? Yeah, well, you're gonna lose. Yeah, you got six inches. Yay! So you're gonna be fine. I can sleep all stretched out. And if you fit, then I am close enough. <laughs> right. <laughs> Better not grow. You excited? Yes. So excited. New home. New home on the road. We're gonna do it slowly because we don't have a lot of money left. So yeah. <laughs> it's maybe one project at a time. It's gonna take time. Like, if we have it done by summer, I'll be happy. We will. There we go, van tour 0.0. Come here! Come, Come on. on! No. She thinks we're gonna take her to the pound. The pound truck. <laughs> Every dog knows not to get in these kind of cars. Every dog knows not to get in a sketchy van. <laughs> Let's get to work.